All right, so Tressalore was kind enough to reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to review one of their wigs. And I am always looking to try different brands and styles and colors. And so I was happy to um, set up a collaboration with them so that I could review this piece for you today. Um, the piece that I chose to review is called Picture Perfect. And I got this piece in color 32 um, slash 31. And it's a really beautiful um, auburn color. This is the information. I'll also put the specifics here so that you guys can see it and in the description below as well. So let's go ahead and open this wig up. This is a Tressalore wig. Now the wigs that I was looking at from their collection were heat friendly and so this wig is a heat friendly wig. And it is called Picture Perfect and I have already opened it because I cannot, I cannot wait patiently to do those unboxing videos and so I already opened it. Um, and it's gorgeous. So let me go ahead and show you guys. I haven't like combed it out or done anything to it to make sure that it's like stays true to the integrity of just out of the box. But this is the piece. Picture perfect. The color is absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. You can see that Z part is still in there. That zigzag part is still in there because I have not um, put it on and messed with it at all. And so I'm going to do that now with you. I'm going to just take off my head wrap. I've got my velvet wig grip on and I'm ready to put on Picture Perfect by Tressalore. So here we go. All right, let me get the ear tab centered and then we can play with the hairline a little bit. Ah, oh, this is a beautiful piece. Um, it is very lightweight, low density. Um, I find myself gravitating to those densities more because I feel like they matched my bio hair and what I knew for so long. Um, if that's not for you, that is totally fine. But this piece definitely has no permatease and it's just awesome. Monofilament top, so from the lace front up here, right here, um, all the way in a U back to the crown of the head, you can part anywhere. And so I'm gonna go ahead and part that um, and take out this zigzag part. Um, even though that's trend making a trendy comeback, I, I cannot rock the zigzag. So let me just do that really quick. Not just a white tooth comb from the Dollar Tree that I'm using. Oh yeah, look at how beautiful that color is. Oops. Now because I am changing the part and I have not done anything to this wig before, um, I will most likely need to hit it with some water. Um, and because this is a heat friendly wig, I will probably just use a blow dryer to kind of set that new part. But I kind of like it slightly off center. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, very lightweight. This is all the hair. I'm gonna pull it all towards the front so you can see about that's how thick it is right there and right there gorgeous piece beautiful now it is a heat friendly fiber and so that means that you can treat it with heat up to i believe it's 320 degrees fahrenheit um most brands heat friendly are um to 280 degrees fahrenheit and so i would just recommend double checking the insert when you get the card to make sure that you are using the right temperature on your wig um I look forward to curling this piece. I am just more of a curled hair girl than a straight hair girl most of the time, but I'll probably wear this a couple times straight before I curl it. Um, because it is heat friendly and something like this sweater that I'm wearing can create friction. And so you don't want that friction damage. So when you're wearing a heat friendly synthetic piece, you'll want to wear something, you know, not wear a lot of scarves and things that are going to rub against the fibers a lot throughout the day. Um, but let's take a look at that. That hairline beautiful hairline blends very well now I've got really nice coverage here this is where the ear tab ends on me I've got my bio here here that you can see peeking through and my sideburns that are peeking through it fits very comfortably with glasses I am a glasses wearer so more often than not I'll have a pair of glasses on I'll give you a show it fits really well with my glasses they just slip right down there and it's comfortable and it's good. This is color 3231. It's in their auburn, it's in their red shades. I'm going to take it off so that you can take a look inside. You can see that hand tied monofilament cap right there. And like I said, it goes all the way back to the crown of your head. And then they've got something that I love. I love seeing these in synthetic pieces. The ear to ear, not the ear to ear, sorry, the temple to temple lace fronts um, actually extend slightly past the temple right here and go into the ear tabs a little bit. I love that. That is the best. Um, I've seen that on a couple of other wigs that I've owned and 
it is great. Now, this is a very stretchy cap, um, but I didn't feel like it was bulky or big on me. Now, it also has the extended nape and the Velcro adjusters. Um, I have a 21, um, yeah, 21 and a half inch head circumference. And so, and my occipital bone kind of sticks out quite a bit in the back, um, but I feel like this wig fit me very well. Um, so my video cut out after I had taken off the piece to give an inside look at the cap. And so I just wanted to show you, this is the wig. I am sitting in front of a natural light window. I do have a ring light on me. I will go outside and give you a look at what it looks like in direct sunlight. Um, this is a gorgeous piece though, beautiful color. Like I said, brown with auburn highlights um, ribboned throughout. It's really beautiful. Um, you can see here that the layering is around the face and then not hardly any layering throughout the rest of the wig. There's a little bit layering here on the sides, but no layering in the back. Now, because I don't have a swivel chair or anything, I'm trying to give you a look at what it looks like behind and give you kind of just the full view. This is, like I said, Tress Allure, Picture Perfect in color 3231, and it is a beautiful wig. Um, I'm very glad that Tress Allure asked me if I would be willing to collaborate with them because I've been looking forward to being able to try a Tress Allure wig, and I am not disappointed so far. It is gorgeous, velvet-lined ear tabs, stretchy cap, but not gapey, like I didn't feel like there was an excess of cap. Um, I have a 21 and a half inch head circumference. Now I do try and wear the wigs that I do a review on in real life as much as possible. That is what I aim for. And so if you want to see more of like wigs in real life content or just out of this regular um, show and tell context, you can find me on Instagram at dot wigan dot, wait, yeah, it's at wigan.out.mama and um, I post there more regularly than I'm able to here on my YouTube channel, but um, that does not mean that I am not around. I am around. Um, I am just over there a little bit more. You can also find me on TikTok. And yeah, this is a beautiful piece from Tress Allure. If you guys have any questions for me about this Tress Allure Picture Perfect wig, comment below, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you get notifications of when I do put videos up on here. And like I said, follow me over on Instagram. I will link those in my description as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I look forward to bringing more wig content to you hopefully soon.